What's going on YouTube? It's Siren Frost and today I'll be doing another deck profile update featuring my Shadow Paladin Blaster series now. Now it's been a while since I actually um, had the cards for all this. Now I finally got all the cards that were missing in this um, um, this clan. So I'm actually looking forward to sharing it with you guys and showcasing it or displaying it, whatever you want to call it. Um, as now, as always, you guys, there's always going to be a description down below featuring the deck, the deck profiles uh, deck list. So be sure to go check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. If I need to change some things, um, go ahead and leave in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think about this build, this version. Because I actually do like Fan Blaster Dragon as a dragon just because he's an awesome person. But um, due to the recent announcement of set let's see set 10 i think yeah set 10 um where the new shallow paladin um uh, units are gonna be coming out and i believe i know it's gonna be coming out before um before halloween or at least around halloween at least around there so i'm excited to see phantom lesser overlord working his darkness again so with that being said and done Let's get on with the the the, the 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 video. Let's just get on with that. Because I have a hard time speaking. So, for my starting Vanguard, we're playing full bow, of course. This is Ren Suzukamori's Suzuka main uh, starter. And as always, unless there's a new one coming up pretty soon, which I hardly even doubt it. So. so, he's just there for the Blaster series. And he used to be a right chain, so I actually grow very fond of it. Now, for grade zero triggers... The standard is four heals, because why not? Four McLears. Now, I've had some recent complaints about not using McLear just because why? Um, the Shadow Paladin Grade 1 is a good standard sometimes, but, you know, this is my version of the build. You guys don't have to like it if you guys don't want to. And you guys are very entitled to your opinions about if you don't like a certain unit. You can just tell me to use something different until I get modify this deck again, tweaking out a little bit. But I just don't want to hear any more nasty comments. That's what's been kind of bugging me as of late. But I'll I'll share more of that in the, vid the next video about about that. So, anyways, so four draws and four heals so far, and we also play four eight crits. Uh, sorry, I guess mystically draw that. And then four Grim Revengers. And all also, I forgot to mention this, you guys. There has been a reveal about Blaster Dark Revenger uh, recently. Now, I'm not sure if he's a very exclusive card to um, um, an event, a Vanguard event. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look into that even more. But if Blaster Blade Liberator has been revealed, this means Blaster Dark Revenger may come back. So that's going to be a good thing to look forward to, isn't it? Okay, so that's for grade zeros. Sorry. Um, next, I play f um, four blaster javelins just because it's a blaster series and you have to have, well, some blasters, right? And of course, now we have four skull witch domains, and I think she was one of the most expensive ones to even get. So that's why I always had a little trial deck um, mixed into it with some booster packs to at least make my deck somewhat um compatible for just a good card fight but four in the mains are here so we got four blaster javelins four in the mains um cannot blast not cannot blast so you rest her and spirit call another unit that has a 5k attacker so there you go and then next we have four black sage karens and then we have two Blackwing Swordbreakers. Um, basically, for Swordbreaker, it's not only because of her of the main's ability, but it's also good for drawing power, so draw more cards. So I kind of like this effect. And this is, of course, Ren Suzukamori's kind of deck, anyways. So we're going based on his deck right now, and my little intake on it. So that's the grade ones. For grade twos, we're playing, of course, you can never have a blaster deck without Blaster Dark himself. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the alternate version of him that you usually get in the trial decks. And I don't think I want to 
pay more money just to, you know, order more because they're probably just sold out by now. It's been like a year ago, I think. Yeah, around like maybe maybe one or two years ago that, that that's the kind of most came up from. But yeah, four Blaster Darks. And then we got three copies of Night of Entrancement's uh, Kellite. He came into um, the extra booster collection when I got my when I got my uh, case for the claret version. So, and every time you anytime you have a blaster dark on the field, he gains additional ten thousand power and ten thousand shields. So, I know a lot of people are gonna be saying that this is a very shitty ass card to play, and I'm very stupid for playing it. I should play something better than that. But I'm trying to stick with the blaster series uh, mant mantra. So. If you guys don't like it, I'm sorry, but this is my own intake of the build. But next, we play my four copies of my favorite unit sometimes is Darkness Maiden Maka. Now, if I used to play for this when I used to play Dark Dictator as well, and basically what she does is you counter blast, you superior call one grade one or less unit from your hand, you draw one card, and she gains, I believe, 5,000 power. So. And this was in the com in the combination of um, when you use Blast Dark ability as well. You use Superior Call another Grade One from your hand, and then retire one unit. And I believe you draw one card too, or gain power. I don't know. I'll have to look into that again. It's been kind of about a while. But yeah, that is my Grade Two lineup, and I'm I am willing to make some modifications out of this deck as soon as possible. But, like I said, we'll just see what happens. And now, for Grade Threes, I'm finally going to say, I'm proud to say at least, I play four copies of Phantom Blaster Dragon. And just because he's now a new, a new better card than his other version, which I didn't personally like, but it's passive. And I know a lot of people are, who are Shop Highland players and fanboys are going to just chew me out in the comments sometimes or just bitch me out saying that, you know... You usually play two fan blaster dragons and another unit, but the, if you if you're gonna have a blaster series personally, you can have to have the the main classic kind of grade three unit. Next, we're playing two copies of Gust Blaster Dragons and then the newer guy Onyx Dust Dragon. And what I love about Onyx Dust is that when he's placed on Vanguard Rear Guard, if you don't have a blaster dark on present on the field. You counter blast one, you soul blast one, and you superior call a blaster dark from your deck. And the best part about this card also is, much like Bermuda Triangle, which I fucking hate the deck to this, to this day, obviously, is the fact that he gains a boost ability whenever a blaster dark is present on the field. So basically, he's just something to gain a little 13,000k 13, bo beater or a booster. So this unit is very versatile. So. Let me just give you an example of my personal opinion. So, well, okay, let me, let me remove him. So, let's just say we have a Blaster Dark in the field. Okay? And that's all you needed. So, should he happen to be here or right here, you know, or right here, wherever you want to choose. And if you also have another copy of him, so let's just say we have this, then he may not boost it, but this one gives a chance to give you a boost. So... Technically, you would be swinging with 23,000 by yourself right there. So that's just a very good um, small combo that I personally would like, to, would like to do. And I actually got that off maybe once, maybe twice. I don't know. But overall, it's a very passive and a very interesting skill, which I, I approve. Okay. So that concludes the deck profile, um, the main deck. Um, shit, what the hell am I doing? I've got this completely wrong. I've always fucked up. Um, I always usually do to do the ground sometimes, but I'm just I'm in that kind of set right now. It's just like eh, it's whatever. Okay, so I also been playing four or six force one markers just because uh, force two doesn't really do much for me to be honest with you. Just because, sure, you will get a critical. But that's all you is. It doesn't stack up. And I like to get my units stacked. So with 10,000 right there, it's just a little bit more of a boost. And then I'll also be playing one little quick shield, of course. I'm still going to get the use of these cards um, one way or another. But I know there's going to get more 
more support in the later sets. Anyways, you guys, that concludes the deck profile update of my Blaster series. Let me just put the camera up a bit so you guys get a look. And, yeah. So, that's all for you guys that I have for you today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That I tried to at least slow down my words to so you can hear what I'm trying to speak about this deck here. And if you guys have any comments or any issues with this deck, I'm going to leave a deck list down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out and please subscribe like this video thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up for this video and just leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this um this deck profile and let me know what you guys can you know modify or change and you know you know let's just have fun with this so I'll leave you guys leave it at that, and I'll have you hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe and make good choices, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.